Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Schwartz. This is John from Lakeshore V Center. I'm gonna be walking around today just showing you some of the basics on your new RV. One of the first things I'm gonna do is start over here on the side of the camper where your propane tanks are. Look in this little compartment here and you're gonna notice a gauge. That gauge is green and that means there's propane running through the lines. Righty tighty shuts off the tanks, the lefty loosey opens up the tanks. There's a selector on top of this, whichever way that's turned is gonna be the tank that it's actually drawing off of, just so you know. So it's important to make sure that's reading green. If it reads red, that means the tanks are empty and you're out of propane, and so you're gonna to need to get those filled up. This is your battery disconnect. Without this switch turned on to the green indicator right here, you're not gonna have 12 volt power, which means things like your lights, your computer boards, and things of that nature will not operate. So. Uh, you want to make sure that that's turned on you do have an inverter right there again if your inverter ever trips check that breaker right there for the 110 outlets to activate our jacks in front here one of the first things we're going to do is make sure we push both arrow keys at the same time notice a green led comes on for that that's what lets us know we're in good position and just like that we can operate our jacks and our auto level so it's that simple we do have an additional propane tank on this side of the camper so that gives you two so that gives you extra capacity this is your docking center on this side. What this is, is where we fill our fresh water and where we flush our tank from. So these, the positioning of the valves will tell you what needs to be done to either fill or flush your tank. This simply turns your pump on. And of course, these little lights right here are just for nighttime usage. We do bring our fresh water line right through that little capped thing there. And that's an experience steer spray port hose, which will go into your hot and cold faucet right there as well. Do keep the little ones away from the furnace exhaust as it can get hot. We might want to make sure that nobody's hurt. Right behind here are your valves. These valves are for the discharge of your waste and gray tanks. And those are pulled because they are remote valves which will just discharge the lines. That's where your sewer discharges from. It's a good idea to make sure with your tires, you check those after the first 250 miles as lug nuts and things of that nature can become loose. Now back here, you do have an additional flush. That's for the tanks in the back for the back bathroom. And of course, this is your discharge for your sewer back there. This is your fuel discharge. This is where you fill your tanks, just like you would if you were at a gas station. And then of course, there's a discharge nozzle. And this is where you turn it on from, okay? You do have a 25 foot 50 amp power cord that comes with the camper, that is with the camper, with the electrical adapters that convert from 50 to 30 and 30 to 15 amp. That plugs into there, that gives you power to the entire coach. This is your ladder. It is a 250 pound rated ladder. Do keep that in mind, 250 pounds. If anybody exceeds that, uh, you don't want to climb the ladder. You pull these pins, the ladder will simply swing forward. To operate this, simply pull these out, swing them around, and that will allow the door to come down. For the door to stay level, you have to have the cables attached. So do keep that in mind. Down in this lockable compartment here, we have your uh, steps for your rear patio. So now, as wonderful as we've seen this one before, this has your side patio as well. So keep in mind um, to pop this down, we simply unlock those. Cables have to be attached for that to work properly. As we walk over here, I'm gonna show you a couple other little things. Underneath the camper, we've got your spare tire. We've got your low point for your fresh water system. That's the hot and cold. When those are parallel in line, that means they've been drained and they're empty. Behind here, we'll show you this real quick. We've got your exterior gas grill with a quick connect that just has to be popped into the gas line below. And then of course that draws from your primary tanks. We're gonna walk inside, show you some basics of the operation of this cyclone. Cyclones are fun to operate because they are very push button and really, real simple. So our main docking center, our main control center is all controlled from right here. To activate that primary keypad, we just simply do that. Plus we'll extend the slide subtraction We'll make the slides come in, push the back arrow key so we can see all the various devices and they all operate the same way. This will pop out your one of your bedroom slides, overhead lighting, power management, additional overhead lighting. To operate our thermostats, real simple operation here. We'll push that a couple times, a little fan will appear. Snowflake means air conditioning. We control the up and down arrow keys, we'll control desired temperature. We want heat, we'll push it again. Same thing for desired temperature, and then that'll shut it off for us. Our bed, tilt it at a nice little angle in there. 
Do keep in mind that little black switch over in the corner there. If that bed is not tilted up, this slide will not come in. There's a trip switch that'll stop that from happening. So let's walk to the back here. I'm gonna show you a couple more things. We always locate your keys around your kitchen faucet, just so you know. Your fireplace is right down here. Simple power controls for those at the very bottom. That turns it on. You can adjust the flame. That is your carbon knox eye detector there. When you want to operate your gas, it is auto ignition. You just simply turn that and hold that in. Gas will come forward and that will automatically ignite. Fan switch controls there. Additional fan controls there. Automatic refrigerator here. Love this fridge. Simply push that to turn it on. It'll go to the most convenient power source. Droplets mean gas. The plug is, of course, for electric. If you want it to go to whichever is most convenient and available, you just push it again. That'll indicate that now it's operating off gas. Leave the desired temperature at 9. It's always a good place for it. But that right button controls your temperature. Just shut it off. Push it again. And we're going to shut that down real quick. There we go. We just shut it off. Really that simple. You guys, real straightforward. Any additional questions, please don't hesitate to ask. This is John from Lakeshore V Center. You can always reach me on my cell phone at 231-740-6225. We thank you again for your business. One last thing we're going to show you back here is you do have these wonderful power beds. Mat. That's your power cord, your additional steps for your side patio, your roll-up carpet. Keep in mind these pins in the corner here, they do need to be in for that top bunk to stay up. If you want the bottom bed to just come down, then all you have to do is, of course, push the button right there, and that'll pop that bed right down for you. Always want to make sure glass panels, top panels are pulled down when you're traveling or when you're shutting that door, because if you don't do that, what's going to happen is, is the air pressure will pop those out. Once again, thank you. This is John from Lakeshore RV Center. I hope you do enjoy your new RV.